Let's begin the video with a few warm-up questions. Question 1. Which of the following sentences correctly uses a colon? I need to buy milk, eggs, and bread. Here are the items on my shopping list, milk, eggs, and bread. She said, I am going to the store. He asked, are you coming? Question 2. Which of these sentences is an example of a correct colon usage? The sign read, welcome to the park. There are three things you need, a pen, paper, and a calculator. I have a question. Can you help me? My favorite fruits are apples, bananas, and grapes. Think you know the answers? If you got them right, congratulations. If not, don't worry, we'll be diving into this topic in today's video. Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering English grammar. In today's video, we're diving into the role of colons. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what colons are, where they're used, why they're used, and how to identify them in sentences and conversations. Plus, we have some fun quizzes to test your knowledge. Let's get started. What is a colon? A colon is a punctuation mark used to introduce information, elaborate on a point, or separate elements within a sentence. Why are colons used? Colons are used to introduce lists. Example, you will need the following items, a hammer, nails, and a saw. Separate independent clauses when the second clause explains or elaborates on the first. Example, he was late for one reason, he missed the bus. Introduce quotations. Example, she said, we will start the meeting at 10 a.m. Emphasize or highlight a particular point. Example, remember this, always lock the door. Where are colons used? Colons are used in various contexts. In written English to introduce lists, explanations, or quotations. In formal writing to provide emphasis or elaborate on previous statements. In titles or headings to separate main titles from subtitles. Example, grammar basics, the role of colons. How are colons used? Using colons to introduce lists. Place a colon before a list of items, especially after an independent clause. Example, we need to buy apples, oranges, and bananas. Using colons to separate clauses. Use a colon to separate two independent clauses when the second clause explains or provides more detail about the first. Example, she had one hobby, painting. Using colons to introduce quotations. Place a colon before a quotation, especially after an independent clause. Example, he announced, the results are in. Using colons for emphasis. Use a colon to emphasize a word or phrase. Example, there was one thing she dreaded, exams. Colons in sentences. He brought everything he needed, a notebook, a pen, and a calculator. There is one thing you must remember, honesty. She stated her opinion clearly. I believe we should proceed with caution. Example of a conversation. I have all the supplies we need. Really? What did you bring? I brought everything. Paper, pins, and markers. Great. Let's get started. It's quiz time. Now, let's test your knowledge with some quizzes. Ready? Question 1. Which of the following sentences correctly uses a colon? The list includes apples, bananas, and oranges. He had one goal, to win the race. She said, I will be there soon. We need to buy bread, milk, and eggs. Answer, he had one goal, to win the race. Question two, identify the correct usage of a colon. There were three things he needed, patience, determination, and luck. The doctor said, take one pill every day. She loves swimming, hiking, and biking. We have to finish the project on time. Answer. There were three things he needed, patience, determination, and luck. Question three, find the correct colon usage. The book title is Grammar Made Easy. He only had one wish, to travel the world. Please bring your ID, tickets, and a pen. She said, 
I am ready. Answer. He only had one wish, to travel the world. Question four. Which sentence uses a colon correctly? Her answer was simple, yes. We need bread, milk, and butter. She explained the rules. No running, no shouting. The sign read, no parking. Answer. Her answer was simple, yes. Question five. Identify the correct usage of a colon. The recipe calls for flour, sugar, and eggs. He had one thing to say. Congratulations. We need to buy apples, oranges, and bananas. The report is due Friday. Answer. He had one thing to say. Congratulations. Awesome. How many did you get right? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today's video on the role of colons. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more grammar tips, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Keep practicing, and you'll be a grammar pro in no time. Thanks you for watching Explified, where our ideas are shared and your thoughts are cared. See you next time.